Brewers postseason games one through three. The Mets would beat the Brewers in game one of the NL wild card eight to four. Luis Severino with the win. Yoel Pyams with the loss. A 40 and a half ERA, Yoel? What is going on? Anyways, William Contreras will start off the scoring on an RBI single, making it 1 to nothing. A hit by pitch to Reese Hoskins would make it 2 nothing. Jesse Winker would hit a 2 RBI triple, making it 2 to 2. Starling Marte would hit a sack fly, making it 3 to 2. Jackson Shorio would tie up the game on an RBI single by a fielding error by Tyrone Taylor. William Contreras would ground out, being a sacrifice, making it 4 to 3. Jose Iglesias would tie up the game 4 to 4 on an RBI single. Mark Vientos will hit a two RBI single, making it six to four. And lastly, another two RBI single, this time by JD Martinez, will make it eight to four. Hey, at least the Brewers won game two, five to three. Joe Ross with the win, Phil Maytown with the loss, and Devin Williams with the save. More on Devin Williams later. Brandon Nimmo would start out the scoring on an RBI single, making it one to nothing. Sean Manaya versus Jackson Churio. He would hit a solo home run out to right, 95 on the sinker. Pretty much away, but not a away from the zone. Hit it like 104 miles an hour, like 380 feet. This would be Churio's first of two home runs in this game. Francisco Alvarez would take the lead on an RBI single. Francisco Lindoro hit a sack fly, making it 3-1. to one. Blake Perkins would then hit a sack fly, make it 3-2. to two. Jackson Churio would hit home run number two. Another solo home run. Another Apo Taco, this time on a cutter, slightly away, but didn't cut as good as Phil Maytown wanted it to. To tie up the game, 3-3. Three to three. Pretty hard hit ball, probably like another 105 mile an hour Apo Taco or so. Phil Maytown still pitching, he gives up a two-run tank to Garrett Mitchell on a curveball pretty much right down the middle. To extend the lead, 5-3, to three. Garrett Mitchell all excited in that, he's like, let's freaking go! It is stuff for the further than that, but we shall just go with it for now. Garrett Mitchell, the two-run, go-ahead, home run. Game three, it all comes down to this. Winner take all. The Mets would win 4-2. to two. Very sad. Edwin Diaz with the win. Devin Williams with the loss. Nice ERA, Devin. What the heck? And then David Peterson with the save. None of the freaking scoring happened until the seventh inning. Jose Buto to Jake Bowers. Out to right and gone on the changeup. Pretty much right down the middle. Jake Bowers with his first home run of the playoffs. Not like it would mean much, but uh, who cares? He hits a home run off of Jose Buto. On the very next pitch, Jose Buto gives up another home run. This time to Sal Freelick of all people. Out to right and gone on the fastball. I'm pretty sure up. And then the Brewers would extend their lead 2 to nothing. I just call this moment pure sadness. Pete Alonso out to right. Three run home run. With one out in the ninth off of my friend Devin Williams. Bro, not cool, man. Yeah, he's just bummed, but I thought he was going to react a lot worse. He's like, let's freaking go, let's freaking go. Yeah, I hit it three right. Go ahead, home run. I'm going to give you John Boy's reaction to it, and it's what I expected of them. So Pete, 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 go, Pete. Pete. Last run of the game is a Sterling Marte RBA single, making it four to two. By the way, I also did find this on Ernie Clement and Joyer on Twitter. Devin Williams' postseason career: 2019 did not play, 2020 did not play, 2021 punched a wall, clinching the celebration and broke his hand. Did not play. Didn't make the playoffs in 2022. 2023 let two insurance runs in the wild card game, game one, then game, then got swept in game two against the Diamondbacks. And then this year, he choked Game 3 of the wild card in the ninth inning because of that Pete Alonso three-run home run. 
So the Brewers season is officially over. It is what it is. We just know at this point that we can never get our way in the playoffs. It's bound to happen at some point. It's just a matter of when. Like we th- we kept thinking, this year's the year. Do it for Bob. At least we didn't get swept, but we couldn't still make it to the NLDS.